What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Pick Plug back again with another video. And stay behind me to some Monday picks for today. We got a solid NBA slip that we're going to be looking at. It's a little bit of a less games that we're looking at for today, but we're definitely looking to cash out on these plays. If you guys are looking to cash out with me, make sure to comment down below your favorite pick of the day, as well as drop a like on the video. Once this video reaches 300 likes, I'll be dropping a bonus pick from my personal plays on Instagram, which we have been cashing out recently. If you guys look here, if you guys aren't already on my Instagram, make sure to go ahead and follow me at official.pickplug. We've cashed these two plays for Damian Lillard and Jokic. Dame was on the under for points. He's been playing pretty terrible recently, and Jokic was for the more on points he had a complete monster game but we did end up losing this slip today for Derek white and devin booker this was a pretty unexpected outcome it was just unfortunate the way everything played out Derek white was set to go on the over for points for 17.5 but then jalen brown went from being out to questionable as we can see here he ended up playing 37 minutes that game and Derek went white had 15 points devin booker he ended up having 12 assists which is a super high uh, assist game for him he was really focused on passing the ball and facilitating for his teammates he ended up going on the under for his points as well but most of the time if you guys are rocking with my personal plays you will profit so make sure to go ahead and follow me at official.pickplug now speaking of cashing out i know most of you guys do know the outlet has been killing their plays they are on a absolute tear as you guys can see they've been cashing out so many plays and they get about 100 dms a day on a bunch of cash outs that they've been seeing Here's a couple of the testimonials and the results from the plays that they've been cashing out. I've um, been on a tear these past two days. You can just see that a bunch of people have been winning from their plays. And this could easily be you if you guys just go ahead and click the link in the description below and cash out on their plays, theoutletbrand.com. This is all their plays that they've been cashing out recently. And this is just from the week alone. If we scroll down, they hit a huge sleeper play, this three man. I do remember this pick. I was absolutely able to cash out from this prop as well. And as well as some other slips they do have some nba and nfl plays that they've been cashing on and overall their straights have absolutely been killing it as well this is all for you guys to access and also i do want to mention that they have some huge upgrades coming out this week starting on monday so for those of you that are able to join now i do suggest to do so because the price that you come in at will be able to stay that price forever and you won't have to worry about any price changes in the future so you'll be able to access those upgrades at a lower price than you would if you just got them later on. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Again, Price Picks does love to take a lot of plays off the board, especially the super high value plays. They do like to change them up or bump them. But if you're subscribed with your post notifications on, you will be able to access those high value plays as soon as they drop and you won't miss out or have any bump lines that might cost you money. Just call, go ahead and subscribe and turn on your post notifications. But without further ado, let's hop into today's picks. For our first line, it will actually be a line that was re recommended by a follower on the Instagram. Huge shout out to Isaiah Smith. He recommended Dennis uh, Shooter for points plus assists, and he's been playing well. On top of that, New Orleans has many injuries that we'll take a look at in a second. The Pelicans are missing a bunch of players, and on top of that, Dennis Schroeder has been playing solidly. I do see him go on the over for this line, but we'll be going for the points on 17.5. He said points plus assists, which is I think is a solid alternative line, but we'll be looking here. He's hit this line in set, uh, three out of his last five games that he's played, and he's averaging 15.6 in his last five games. These two games were pretty rough for him, but against good teams like, for example, Cleveland, this was a close game. He ended up going on the over having 22 points in a game that a lot of people thought that this would have been a blowout. The same thing with the Boston Celtics that went to overtime. He ended up having 20 points. So this is just overall a pretty solid matchup for him, I do believe so. If we look here on Outlier, you guys, again, you can access this tool for seven days for free, and you will be able to have access to all of their historical data and make your own judgments and be able to cash out on your own plays. We can see he's going up to a team that overall is 22nd in points allowed. They're giving up 117.5 points per game, and versus the point guard position, they're giving up 26.6 points per game at the 24th rank in the league, which is pretty high up there. They're not that good defensively, and this is not even counting all the injuries that they have right now. Now, if we look here, they have a long list of injuries. They have Jordan Hawkins, Herbert Jones, CJ McCollum, Trey Murphy, DeJounte Murray, and of course, Zion Williamson is out. He's been out the last two games, and this is a huge hit to the team. As you guys can see in the last game, Brandon Ingram had a pretty bad game. He had, uh, I believe, 11 points. And without Zion, he is an easy target for the defensive matchups. I didn't really watch that game, but 
one can assume that they were probably just focusing on him the whole defensive matchup and completely boxing him allowing him to go on the under overall i do have the nets coming out on top and i definitely do uh, see dennis Schroeder playing a big role in that win he's hit this line in seven out of his last 10 games and of course he's averaging a high amount of minutes 35.2 minutes is what his average is in his last two games he's averaged 37 minutes now he hasn't hit this line in the past against them he's zero percent he's missed this in the last two games that he's played against them but these were pretty long time ago and i do believe going up against the matchup today it is completely different he should definitely have an easier time going up against a team like this now if you guys are liking this prop let me know what you think down in the comment section below let me know if you're telling it and if you guys do want an alternative play it would be the points assists line that was mentioned earlier again they are even worse when it comes to defending the assists overall they're 27th in the league and against the point guard position they're 29th in the league almost the worst in the whole league allowing 10.9 assists per game you might even want to just go for the assist line on dennis Schroeder. but first and foremost i'll be going for the points on the over you guys can go ahead and check some alternate lines for yourself for our next line today we'll be going over to the points plus assist tab and we'll be looking at josh giddy for 18.5 points plus assist this one is going to be for more now if we look here he's cashed this line out in four out of his last five games averaging 19.8 in his last five games against atlanta he had 20 points plus assist against minnesota he had 22 points plus assist against cleveland it is definitely going to be a tough matchup they are very solid defensively but versus the perimeter defense that is not where they are the strongest he's hit this line in seven out of his last 10 games and going up against josh giddy he does have a solid chance to go on the over for this line and he's going to be a team that is giving up a high amount of assists already for the shooting guard position 6.5 and he's gotten 13 assist games seven assist games um repeatedly eight assist games nine assist games you name it he's done it he's been on a pretty solid consistent run going on the over for this line seven out of ten is pretty solid and he does average a high amount of potential assists he's averaging 11.3 potential assists per game and at the last game he had 12 potential assists with uh seven assists and for some reason it's saying that he had 12 potential assists here but he ended up with 13 um either way it does just show how much he has been consistent and go up against the cleveland cavaliers i do see them focusing more on zach levine defensively and i do see him getting a lot of open looks to get some solid points up i do see him having at least 10 points this game so if you guys are liking this line or any line in this video make sure to pair it with the underdog promo that is up right now whether you guys are in to nfl or not this is a huge free pick that you guys can take advantage of and it's for matthew stafford for the over on point five yards guaranteed to hit and you guys can tell this with anything a simple two pick play would probably be the best if you guys are looking to make some solid money and on top of that you guys can get up to 100 times on your payout boost when you use code trophy and not only do you get that up to 100 times on your payout boost but you also do get an extra up to one thousand dollars in a bonus play so again if you guys aren't all already on underdog make sure to go ahead and download it it will be linked in the pinned comment as well as in the description below for our final line again if you guys do want additional bonus pick directly from my instagram personal plays go ahead and get this video to 300 likes as soon as it hits 300 likes i will be dropping one of my personal personal plays in the pinned comment we'll be going over to the turnover section and we'll be looking at zach levine for 2.5 turnovers this one is going to be for more now i definitely do see zach levine turning a lot of turnovers this game go up against cleveland they are extremely solid defensively and right now they're already playing at playoff speed going up against chicago Zach Levine has gone on the over for turnovers against teams like Atlanta, Orlando. Um, he's had seven turnovers against OKC. And in my opinion, Cleveland is even better defensively than they are. If we look here on outlier, we can see that he's going to be a team that he's gone on the over before in the past against. He's had three turnovers against them. And looking here overall, they are listed at third for turnovers, four state force. 15.9 turnovers per game and if you really watch cleveland they have a bunch of their points from fast break points that is just because they have some solid solid defense versus the shooting guard position even though that there are second uh, 20 second turnovers force they still give up or force 3.5 turnovers per game so if he gets these averages he should be able to go on the over i definitely do see zach levine throwing a lot of weird passes from time to time so i definitely do think this is a solid line to go for also he does have a solid amount of minutes he's averaging 33.5 and in his last three games he's had 35 minutes 34 minutes and 31 minutes 
so he does get enough playing time to go on the over for this line if you guys are liking this play or any of the plays in this video again make sure to like and subscribe make sure to use the promo on underdog fantasy to cash out on your two pick play and go ahead and join the outlet for the exclusive plays they have been on an absolute heater recently you definitely don't want to miss out on their plays go ahead and click the link in the pinned comment below or just go to the outletbrand.com and cash out go follow me at official.pickplug on instagram if you guys do want my personal picks thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace